You want to know why might you have same-sex attraction? This is actually a question that has plagued thousands of individuals, both those experiencing SSA and those who don't experience SSA. Obviously, those people who don't have SSA aren't wondering why do I have SSA? They were wondering more why do some people have SSA and what might have caused that to come about. So truthfully, this is already something that is almost forbidden to talk about and to question in today's society and is becoming practically taboo. So I am no expert or a researcher, but I can only tell you from what I've understood from the many men that I've spoken to about this and that what their experience has been. I don't know if there's a cause and effect and I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the shared experiences of what people have shared and that's what we're here to explore because as from Yidin we choose not to accept anything as status quo and we like to build our connection with Hashem even with the challenges we are given and not simply fall into what society would have us believe as fact. We choose to work on ourselves and we choose to rather than make our religion coincide with how we feel, we try to make how we feel and behave coincide with our religious beliefs so that we can be the best people that we can be. So in truth, there really is no perfect or even semi-perfect answer for everyone. We can only present ideas of what others have shared and experienced. And if something resonates with you, so take it. And if it doesn't resonate, then leave it. I personally have spoken with men from all across, across the spectrum, from from married men to single non-religious men to married gay couples who are not Jewish at all. And the deeper I probed with each person I spoke to, even those not looking to change, just telling me about their lives and themselves, I kept on coming across a familiar thread that they all shared. Every man admitted in some form or shape that he had felt different as a kid growing up from when he, as long as he can remember that he just never felt like everyone else. And this could be in a, because he had different interests than what he thought most boys were interested in, if he enjoyed different games or different hobbies. And these men felt that their differences created a separation between them and the other guys in their circles. One man even told me that he was into professional wrestling and that he thought that made, them, that made him weird. And therefore he cut himself off from everyone else because he felt that he had these different interests. And I'm always hearing about that, that men who have same-sex attraction always look at themselves as they always felt different. Another common popular denominator I found was that they didn't have a close connection with their father, if at all. Many had no father present in their lives, or the father wasn't as present as their mother who they grew very attached to. Again, these are just theories and ideas that I have heard. It don't, doesn't have to mean anything. There's no recipe. So even if none of these things apply to you, it seems that it caused inside these men, while they were still younger, like a gap or a vacancy. And it caused them to feel empty in, in, their, in their sense of being a man, being a complete man. And as a result, they spent their lives, or whatever much of their lives that they have lived, trying to fill that gap. And this happens to almost everyone in some shape or form that we feel a lack in our lives, like a deep black hole that we so de desperately need filled, a yearning to be whole or complete. And therapist offices are filled all day with people caught in bad habits looking for a way out when really they're simply trying to run away from the vacancy they feel. Some fill it with alcohol, some feel it, fill it with drugs, some fill it with porn, but everyone wants the same thing to feel complete. This yearning for some became so deep that their feelings of longing and connection to other men became sexualized. They believe subconsciously that this sexual connection will fill the gap within themselves and make them more complete as a man. So where does SSA come from? What I have seen and what seems like a real big possibility is that it could come from a lack in the sense of self. You can call it a lack of self-esteem, you can call it a lack of self-worth, call it whatever you're most comfortable with. It comes from whatever experiences you might have experienced that gave you the messages that you were not enough. 
that you are not loved, that you are not okay as you were. And it's not your fault, and it's not anyone's fault that maybe you understood those messages from them. But if we start looking into where this might have been coming from, what might have caused it, that's the first step to figuring out what, if anything, can be done. Trying to figure out how we can bring our sexuality in line with our religion and not the other way around.